Rise 45 vlog, day the third. And uh, today, took, took a little audible, called a little audible on training today, um, just because my sleep's been really just awful. I mean, you know, new program, uh, adapting to a new diet-ish. Uh, let's see, probably trying to get back into the work routine. And uh, yeah, so I, I figured it probably just wasn't a good idea to do anything other than active recovery today, which uh, so today was basically walking and some uh, some mobility. In fact, I'm about to go do a little bit more of that. And uh, I'm actually kind of bummed because I was really excited looking at the program uh, that, I, that I'd kind of um, written there, the split that I'd written out today based on the program, uh, some really fun movements. So may, who knows, maybe I'll I'll take uh, take some of those ideas and Frankenstein them with tomorrow's program and then get back onto it, uh, the actual program, maybe Friday. But uh, let's see. So today's, uh, today's, today's learning was definitely, definitely like I, I said um, yesterday about calories, um, apply that to hydration. You know, there's a, there's a number of, uh, I guess, let's say, there's an amount of water that I've been trying to drink every day and even hitting that you know combined with electrolytes i'm noticing is not enough you know last night i had a pretty rough time last night because i was just super dehydrated for some reason and i think that just goes to kind of not not being super aware maybe of where i am i mean the reality is it's what wednesday today so i've only been training 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 for two days you know like i said um you know when when gen, like, i think i mentioned this earlier but when gyms shut down again, um, back in mid November, you know, I was only just doing cardio, you know, outside cardio. So walking and, uh, and a little bit of jujitsu here and there. And then the two weeks that I was on holiday, I didn't really do anything other than play with the dogs. So, um, and then, so then to come back and then jump right back into, you know, grappling and then this pretty intense program. I mean, understandably that's, it's gonna, there's, there's, there's gonna be some, uh, there's, there's going to be some adaptation overhead, so I'm, you know, I'm definitely not, not upset about it. I'm not beating myself up about it. It's just, you know, it's 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 the process, right? And so that's um, that's just something to be aware of for me, I guess. Um, let's see, on to today's topic. So the today's topic is uh, keeping with this week's theme of kind of intros and uh, kind of overview. Is uh, so I want to talk a little bit about kind of what rise 45 is and why I'm doing it. And uh, just to kind of answer, answer a question I got about what is rise 45 from, uh, from my, my, my good friend and training, training brother, uh, Andres. So I, I wasn't, I wasn't ignoring your question, man. I, I it's just one of those, I was going to answer it. Uh, I, I had scheduled it to answer it on the blog. So I figured I would, you know, I'd get to that. So here it is. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's the first of the year. It's, you know, it's fitness challenge season. And I don't say that, you know, you know, um, I'm not, I'm not being snarky when I say that. It's just, you know, it's, it's a natural time to, to do that sort of thing. And so Rise 45 is a challenge put on by, by a company called FNX, supplement company, I believe out in, uh, out in Utah, I think, out in SLC. So, and, <clears throat> and it's kind of interesting because there are some components, you know, obviously there's a training component and kind of all the, the sort of components that you find in a fitness challenge, you know, hydration, nutrition, all that stuff. But the real overarching goal, um, I think like a lot of, uh, a lot of challenges, is actually just try and build sustainable, uh, healthy habits. And so, so, you know, you, you could compare it to programs like, you know, like, like 75 hard or things like that. Um, except there's a little more, I feel like there's a little more direction. Um, I feel like, there's probably a little more just from listening to the the founders talk about the design of the program. It sounds like there's a little more thought to what goes into building and sustaining habits. So that's really exciting. And the reason I chose to do it was, um, you know, some of you folks know I've been I've been repping the brand for about a year, and uh, I think back in November uh, I kind of moved up a tier. So they've got two tiers in, in their in their brand ambassador program. And I said, hey, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna really be serious about this, um, you know, if I'm gonna, you know, buy buy into a, and go through the process and jump through the hoops to be in the kind of the higher tier, it's like maybe I should uh, I, sh I should try and be part of the community and really just kind of get on board with what they're doing. And so, you know, it's it's um, and I'm gonna talk about this a little later. I think I think uh, week week three or four, um, uh, during nutrition week, I'm going to talk about supplements and I'll talk a little bit more about the company, but you know, what, what I, what I've seen from the brand and the company so far, I really dig, um, they kind of remind me of sort of a younger, 
differently focused on it. Um, you know, some of you guys know my quote unquote history with on it. Um, yeah. So it is just one of those things that, you know, in interacting with some of the folks from the company on the lives on, on their live streams and chats. And then, you know, I've had, I've had a, a call, you know, so calls with a couple of them, you know, overall it's, it's uh, I, I like, I like where they are and, and I like the products. I mean, I've been using the products for a year now, uh, especially their protein. Their proteins are probably some of the best proteins I've ever used uh, for a bunch of different reasons. And so, yeah, so overall, I just kind of said, hey, why not, um, yeah, why not, why not, why not throw in with these guys, try and get their name out there a little bit, take advantage of, of all their, their programming knowledge and, you know, get, uh, you know, kick, kick the, kick the year off with a good program. And um, in that respect, you know, I haven't done an actual GPP block in a long time. And so that was something I was really excited about, you know, thinking about kind of my goal for this year of, of competing and really stepping up my jujitsu, uh, you know, I figured, Hey, why not do a GPP block? I mean, I've been so focused on strength and hypertrophy blocks and speed and power blocks for a while. Um, maybe it's time to really add, add, add some focus towards developing, you know, more, more of the athletic attributes. And, you know, I typically don't have a GPP block in my, in, uh, in my macro, although sometimes I'll do, you know, every so often I'll throw in like conditioning days or body weight days, things like that. But, but to actually have like a full like quarterly cycle, I'm actually going to run the program twice. So it's 45 days. I'm going to run it two times so that, so that way I'll have a full quarter of, of GPP, um, based on, based on these programs. And I, th I think, I think that'll be good because, um, that gets me through the first quarter and I think my plan right now is to try and pick up my first tournament in April. So I'll just have to see what's out there. Um, you know, it might be, be, I'm, I'm thinking it'd be fun to maybe travel somewhere for that, you know, instead of, instead of traveling all over the place for fitness con eds, which I'm going to do some of this year too, you know, we'll travel all over the place for a, uh, for tournaments. So, uh, so that could be fun. Uh, let's see what else. So, I mean, that's really it in a nutshell, you know, it's, so like I said, a 45 day, 45 day habit building program. And I, that's something I could talk about. Um, the other, I guess, so that's another reason I wanted to do this was the, I had set kind of another habit goal for myself, which was, you know, which was to vlog and document my workouts every day, just because the habit I want to get in, into is, is this whole content creation thing. Because, because that's, you know, if I'm honest with myself, I actually really, really enjoy doing things like these vlogs and you know back when i was doing live streams which uh, i think i'm gonna do friday by the way i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna live stream free info friday so if you have questions uh still still time to get those in or you can join me on the live stream i'll be live streaming from my instagram and maybe maybe youtube i, I don't know I'll, I'll i'll have to see how much how much time it's going to take me to get something like you know if i want to try and set something like restream or or stream yard uh, so so i can so i can multi-stream I, I don't i don't think my uh I don't think my internet would handle multi-streaming, but we'll see. So anyway, but uh, I digress. Um, yeah, so my my actual habit target is just to figure out, you know, how to stay on a content schedule because, like I said, it's really fun. I enjoy doing it, um, and I think I think there's going to be, you know, once, you know, if one if hopefully if the world goes back to normal and you know jujitsu is not illegal anymore and I still have a place to train because. There's a, there's a very real possibility our school is not actually going to survive all this craziness. So um, I'm not going to dwell on that too much because then I'm going to get angry at people. But um, yeah, so I think if that if, if I come away from this with that, even over like fitness goals, I mean, yeah, I do want to lose some weight. Yeah, I do want to you know get this holiday fluff off. Yeah, I definitely do want my conditioning to go up. But if, if I get to the point when this is over that I've got a good content strategy that just kind of fits everything that I think I'm trying to do and, and it's cool because I'm already thinking about how do I transition from what I'm doing now to whatever this might look like after, um, after the, the, the 45 days is over and I move into the second phase. And thankfully I've gotten some, um, I, I've taken some social media courses. Actually, I took a really good Instagram course um, over the holidays that, uh, that I think really set me up for some with some strategies on, on how I can really approach, uh, content going forward, you know, for maximum exposure and all that good stuff. So, so I'm actually excited about that, but, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm, I'm definitely a little spacey, um, just from, like I said, just from not recovering well, not sleeping and probably being a little dehydrated. So 
I'm going to wrap this up and like I said, get your questions in if you have any for Friday, because again, it'll be, it'll be live streamed. And of course I'll, I'll uh, there'll also be a, a replay and, um, that's what I got. So thanks. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.